the joys of sitting on the couch and playing a multiplayer game with my friends and family is, was and forever will be a great holiday maker and weekend banger. Getting home from school and picking up the less broken controller to smash my friends in a competitive game or smash the controller is a fantastic childhood memory. Oh, the feeling of losing 5-0 in a FIFA game to a rambunctious, overly braggy friend is a memory I'll never forget. But posting my defeats on Facebook and glorifying my friend's victory is one of those moments I wish I could forget. Without further delay, let's get into our list of great multiplayer couch games. In no particular order, let's go. Number 11. It Takes Two. With elements of a platform game, but classed as an action-adventure, It Takes Two hit international success. From solving puzzles together and collaborating on which ability helps where, to the heartfelt, meaningful story which had us all asking for more while still trying to figure out the last level. It Takes Two has a place on our list as one of the best co-op games to be released in the last decade. If you haven't played it, you should definitely grab a buddy and get puzzle solving. Speaking of puzzle solving, Cody and May have to work together in order to complete some of the most challenging puzzles we've encountered in a while. Resisting the urge to snap at my partner after making the same error over and over again had me testing my resolve as well as my brain. Overall, a must play if you enjoy puzzle solving or just hanging out with the bros and laughing at their inability to solve the basic levels. I prefer the latter personally. Number 10. Overcooked. One to four players take control of chefs in a kitchen navigating busy restaurant rushes and perfectly timing the service, which is a lot harder than one would expect. Overcooked had us shouting at each other and thanking the universe that we somehow got through the level. Don't get me started on cleaning up after the service. Man, my friends are lazy. The cooking part of the game is made difficult by the varying layouts of the kitchens the higher in level you go. The term, too many cooks in the kitchen, is usually used in business or team projects, but in Overcooked, we take it as literal. And let me tell you, there are way too many cooks in the kitchen when playing with four people. There are 28 different kitchens in the game with a final boss at the end of the campaign, leaving the game with tons of replayability. Overcooked is a great game to play while you have friends over and are looking for something light-hearted but challenging at the same time. Number 9. We Were Here. This co-op game has four installments to date, so there's tons of content for you and your partner to play and solve through. You and your buddy or sibling must work together to solve puzzles while being in different rooms in the game. Kind of like an escape room in real life, but with less panicking and gnawing of teeth, and more casual and relaxed gnawing of teeth. Each player has a different role, so once a level is complete, you can switch the roles up and replay the level to see who performs better in that job specification. Number 8. Worms. Whether you played Worms growing up or are a new Worms warhead, this game is pretty much a one-of-a-kind and can be enjoyed by youngsters and oldies alike. There's action, humor, tragedy and tactics all bundled into a surreal, artillery-wielding world of Worms. Each player controls a team of Worms and has to use artillery weapons in a turn-based fashion to, you guessed it, blow up the enemy team's Worms. You can think either defensively or offensively in your pursuit of controlling and decimating the map in order to defeat the enemy team of Worms. The game takes some getting used to, but once your eye is in, the mechanics become natural and simply an extension of your arms. Number 7. Unravel 2. Unlike its predecessor, Unravel 2 can be enjoyed in co-op. If you have played Unravel, you will know that this yarn-wielding puzzle-solving cute protagonist is lots of fun to play with. Well, now there's two of them. Unravel 2 was surprisingly difficult, and it took my co-op partner and myself quite some time to solve some of the more challenging levels in the game. The art style of Unravel 2 is unique and fits perfectly with the narrative of this tricky game. If you enjoy puzzle solving and cute anthropomorphized yarn beings, then this is certainly the game for you. Number 6. A Way Out Players take control of two convicted prisoners, Leo and Vincent, as they break out of prison and go on the run from authorities. Both players take on differing roles that aren't always synchronized in order to evade capture. The awesome thing about this game is that players can interchange their roles and duties in separate playthroughs, allowing replayability and increased collaboration skills between cooperative partners. A Way Out also includes mini-games like an arcade, arm wrestling, banjo playing and piano duets. Fans of the beloved series Prison Break should be ecstatic about this game as there are many plot twists and gut-wrenching finales. Number 5. Portal 2. Portal 2 has a single-player campaign where players control Shell, or a couch cooperative campaign where players control one of two robots, Atlas and Peabody. 
this critically acclaimed title has a balanced yet challenging learning curve, dark humor, excellent script writing, and an immersive story that even the most basic of puzzle solvers out there will still enjoy. There is also a map editor in game that allows players to share and customize different map designs, leading to a collaborative community of passionate Portal lovers. The events in Portal games are intimately linked to the Half-Life universe, so if you're interested in the Half-Life story, a playthrough of both Portal games is recommended to get a rounded feel of the universe. Portal 2 is one of our favorite puzzle solvers, and other game developers drew inspiration from the game's design and mechanics. Games such as Splitgate have taken elements from Portal 2's use of portals and incorporated them into an action deathmatch shooter. Number 4. LEGO Games we couldn't just pick one LEGO game for our list, but all LEGO games have been co-op compatible. Titles such as LEGO Star Wars, LEGO Harry Potter, LEGO Indiana Jones, and LEGO Batman, just to name a few, had us enthralled from a young age. Enjoyed by players young and old, the LEGO game franchise is one of the more successful franchises, with more games set to be released in late 2023 and beyond. With its light-hearted fun and slapstick comedy to its sometimes frustratingly tricky puzzles, the LEGO Games universe deserves a spot on our list as one of the best multiplayer game series out there. You would think that with the money they saved on scriptwriting, or lack thereof in this case, that the LEGO Games would come with an extra pack of LEGOs. But alas, it is not to be. Number 3. Mario Kart Racing Hours of glee and irritation all packed into a cute Mario-themed racing game has the whole family revving up their engines for Sunday afternoon racing extravaganzas. Mario Kart has had many releases since 1992, covering two full generations and bringing in a third, older generation in the fun and toil of this awesome racing game. There are many in-game modes to be enjoyed. Time trials, Grand Prix, split-screen races, and online multiplayer races with up to 12 players. This racing game has thrills, skills, and shrills that allow for competitive gaming yet relaxed fun for friends and family alike. Number 2. FIFA Coming in at second on our list of multiplayer couch games to play is FIFA. Whether you've played FIFA from the earlier titles like FIFA 01, or are new to the world of this friendship rattling, Facebook posting, finger aching mayhem, this game is enjoyed by people from all walks of life, skilled and unskilled, interested in football or not, humble winners versus sore losers alike. The skill ceiling in FIFA games is pretty high, allowing for players to practice and hone their football skills in order to challenge their friends or even play for a professional FIFA club that competes in tournaments around the world. Playing as your favorite team has a magical feel to it and winning with your favorite team is a feeling of pride and prestige that gives you bragging rights amongst your friends. We all know that one friend who can't resist the Cristiano Ronaldo celebration when scoring a goal. Two. Number 1. Super Smash Bros. Super Smash Bros, originally released in 1999 for the Nintendo 64, tops off our list of multiplayer couch games. An amalgamation of characters from all our other favorite Nintendo titles, including the likes of Donkey Kong, Street Fighter, Zelda, and Pokemon to name a few, Smash Bros is the perfect way to assert your mental dominance on your friends, sibling, or children if you're my brother. Giving endless hours of chaotic fun, Smash Bros is a 2D platforming game that combines sleek movement with expertly timed combat mechanics to provide a very replayable formula. There are hundreds of characters to unlock and a very high skill gap to try and surmount. Smash Bros has a very dedicated fanbase and is widely regarded as one of the most successful multiplayer games to date. We highly recommend you finding your own character and giving this game a go as soon as possible, whether you're a seasoned gamer or a complete noob. That's all for today's video. Let us know in the comments if you agree with our list or if you think we should have included a different game. Until the next video, don't forget to cross your T's and square your eyes.